So let's take a closer look at a flower to see how they produce seeds. Hey, in a flower, they have several parts. All these parts have their own special function, which is like a job. They work together in that flower to produce seeds. Let's take a closer look at these parts. In the very center of the flower is the female part, or the girl part of the flower. And this is called the pistil. And on the very top of the pistil is a stigma. But hey, not just any stigma, it's a sticky stigma. And we're going to find out why in just a minute. Surrounding the pistil is the boy part of the flower. And these are called stamen. And their job is to hold the pollen. Surrounding the stamen are the petals. And the petals function is to help protect the stamen and the pistil. And the petals are also brightly colored. They can have a fragrance, but deep down inside at the very base of the petal, they make this sweet sugary substance called nectar. So the petals are colorful. They maybe smell good and they have nectar. Hmm, wonder what that could be for. They want to advertise for pollinators to come visit them. What is a pollinator? A pollinator is an animal that moves pollen. They move pollen. They may come to this flower and collect this pollen. And that pollen can go with that pollinator to another flower over here or over there or over there or over there. They need pollinators to help move their pollen. So let's see, what kind of pollinator would be interested in coming to these beautiful poppies? Probably a bee. Yes, a bee. A bee would love to come to these petals and to get down to that sugary nectar. They would, they would climb down in the bottom and when they were sipping that nectar, the pollen that's being held by the stamen could get caught on their hairy bodies. And when they go to another plant, guess what? Oh yes, that pollen from this plant gets stuck on the sticky, stigma of another plant and when that pollen comes in contact with the sticky stigma guess what happens oh yeah seeds are made just like that